Hey, this is Joe Price. I just wanted to show you a new project that we've set up. The goal of this project is to help people be able to find family names to take to the temple. Many people use Ordinance Ready, and when they click that button, it looks for close relatives that have all the information they need to have their temple work done. However, there's many people on the tree that are missing some information that needs to be in place or is missing a standardization or has invalid characters that um, makes it so that they cannot um, have their temple work done until those things are resolved. So we're gonna be helping turn some of those orange temples or yellow temples into green temples. Let me show you how to do this. Um, so when you get into the sheet, you can, what I like to do is just click on one of the cells and hit control down. It'll take me to the next open spot. I will then um, highlight my name, just, just a way of checking it out. This will tell you the PID and the issue. So you can see we have missing standardized place, name and valid characters. You can see there's other things that might be causing trouble. Okay, so I just click on this URL and uh, really it's um, up to you to, uh, to do um, whatever it takes to uh, make sure that this person can, um, can be free. Well, and actually looking at this right now, it looks like um, the focus person was already a green temple, but I did uh, notice that the, the spouse uh, is an orange temple. And so notice there's this little record hint sitting right here. So I can click on that and uh, notice that this uh, record hint is actually a really nice uh, match. And it actually gives me all the information that I need to make that person a um, what they would need to have their uh, temple work done. At this point, you could, um, you could maybe see if there's other sources to attach or uh, if you come across duplicates, you can merge those. Um, but at this point, we've kind of accomplished the task. Oh, actually, here's one census record, kind of nice. Let's take a look at this. You can see here we have Jesse Arlene. Oh, so actually, it does look like, I'm sure what's going on here. Let's see. Let me change it. Let me just change the focus person so you can kind of see this better. Oh, it was just a matter of the way Source Linker was looking at it. Okay, so then at this point, we can come in here and just put a one. Okay, sometimes I like to open up multiple ones at once and I'll hit Alt Enter to do that and I just work my way backwards. So you can see here it says invalid characters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add additional information. And what it allows me then to do is come back in here and take out that little look at the sources and see if we made the right choice. Hallie, it's just kind of like, uh, it goes, goes either way. Hallie, Holly, Holly, Hallie, Hallie, Molly. At this point then everything uh, looks good. And again, you could do more. It looks like maybe her parent has the same uh, issue. And so let me just take a look at her sources. She's Callie, 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 Caroline, Callie. My guess is Callie's a nickname, Caroline. So I am, uh, and again, this is a judgment call on my part, but I'm gonna come in here and put in her alternate name as Callie Payne. And that allows me to come up here and so things so that she can do that. And notice then there's other sources that I can attach and you should feel um, welcome to do that. So here's another one. It looks like this one's already green, so that's fine. I don't see anything uh, specific that we might need to, to do. And so we can just move on to the next one. And that might've just been something about the way we ran our code, made it think this was a yellow temple and it wasn't. Okay, it says missing standardized birthplace. So we can come here, we hit edit, we click here and you can see that um, you wanna look carefully at these options. And then we just standardize that. And then, um, you know, you can see that here we have another source that we could attach if we wanted to. And then sometimes they just check to see if there's any merging or other cleaning that needs to be done of the site. Close those windows and I would put in ones right here. Okay, so really the sheet is just a way of uh, giving you guidance on a person that you could help on the family tree. And we've picked these people to be those who um, don't have all the information they need to have their temp work done, but for which uh, we think there's record hints that will make it possible for you to find all the pieces of information that would uh, be needed. So thanks for helping with this project. Uh, feel free to send us any uh, feedback. And, and again, really, we're just trying to point you to a place in the tree where you can have an impact. Um, and as with all our projects, it's always great to hit view my relationship. You might discover that the person that you've been helping as a form of service uh, turns out to be one of you.